Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. I'm back with a new reaction video. I highly request the one so you guys want to check out the longer documentary about Rob Gronkowski. So of course I will do that. I'm excited. So yeah, I'm not gonna ramble. Let's get straight into this documentary. Let's go. The ballad of one Robert James Gronkowski. First and ten at its own two yard line. He's like a Shaquille O'Neal. He's just this, this big, enormous guy that is unstoppable. Rob Gronkowski. <laughs> A whole lot of sides up. Gronkowski breaking tackles. Look at this, how they tackling him. You can't stop him. Probably the most dominant player. You know someone is strong when you, like, slap them, and they're like, that's like a celebration, like a little shake. Raised in Buffalo, New York. You're from Buffalo, okay. New York? Yes, Buffalo, New York. There are five Gronkowski brothers. Five brothers competing at the highest level and from the earliest days. Black eyes were no more unusual than runny noses. Rob, Sheesh. Dan, and Chris are all in the NFL. Gordy played. Whoa, really? Why aren't you guys telling me this? A professional baseball. Glenn Gronkowski was drafted by the Bills in 2016 to become the fourth Gronkowski brother to play in the NFL. I guess those black guys did something to you. You know, people were always scared to face him and scared to tackle him and scared to pitch to him or hit off him. And... He immediately turned heads at the high school level. Before he became a star for the Patriots, Gronkowski grew up in suburban Buffalo and played football, baseball, and basketball at Williamsville North High School. We stay right here where Rob Gronkowski has taken the nation by storm since entering the National Football League. But it all started in college at the U of A. And then you decided to go to school at the U of Arizona. And that's Rob Gronkowski with the first down for Arizona. Yeah, this is his first game. Look at him. I think maybe the best tight end in the like country. that. Yet. He didn't become like that. That's his stuff. Three yards against Oregon. Maybe the best game I've ever seen. Oh, wow. Gronkowski touchdown. Like a big lug, a big clown who will absolutely clown you. The country is a weapon now. That's 6'6, 250 pounds. They found big country with a big conversion, Bob, on third down into Arizona. His college career was short-lived. A devastating back injury sidelined him his junior year. I'm feeling great. I haven't felt this great in a while. I'm feeling unbelievable. And, I mean, I'm going to have my brother Chris and my brother Dan in the NFL with me. Three brothers in the NFL at one time. That's unbelievable. Remember, crazy. there was that the back happen. surgery even before he arrived in the NFL. That cost him a year. That's the reason he dropped into the second round. The New England Patriots select Rob Gronkowski. Tight end, Arizona. We put him in a room, came back, he was asleep on the floor. Uh, didn't make a very good impression. He was what? He was sleeping on the floor? <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, I brought him in. We just kind of, you know, we're getting ready to, you know, have meet with the coaches and go through and then oh fell asleep on the floor. <laughs> it happens. Like, it happens. oh, boy. You know, so. A stuffy, buttoned up New England Patriots and Rob Gronkowski. As a rookie, Rob Gronkowski would earn good. the mantle of the Gronk. Oh, my God. Why? And so caught. Touchdown, Gronkowski. Gronkowski, a second round pick out of Arizona, hauled it in. Did you know that Rob Gronkowski is one of three brothers currently in the NFL Crazy. trying to make teams? And I think Gronk really brought some personality into a locker room, right? like some lightness and some fun to a place that's not Definitely. very that's much fun. That's what I was going to say. His play style is hulkish. Well, you're talking about dominant. You're talking about one of the greatest <laughs> players at his position of all time. Working hard to the end zone is Rob Gronkowski. There hasn't been a tight end that has come oh, in and been oh, able to run oh. the middle, run vertical, and make plays like this since Coates. Right, right. This done in about three weeks. No. I see this is rookie haircut week. Yeah. <laughs> As Von rookie Miller said, haircut. he's almost like LeBron James in that his body type and skill set has never been seen before at his position. Oh boy, catches it with both hands. 
against the body. Six foot seven and, and, and nimble. Can turn his body. He just had a terrific preseason. Turning six with foot out of the backfield. Gronkowski. The, the league was on notice. Gronk was not to be taken lightly, scoring 10 you touchdowns. You can't take him lightly, he's huge. And there's no receiver or tight end that has a bigger catch radius than Gronk does. I don't think there was anybody at that position during he's the time frame that was in, the, he was in the NFL that you could... He took a black ass like kid. You know he's gonna go for his hair. Argue was I just, even close. Like you, he, he you marked him. The tight end position. better. <laughs> Time Rob Gronkowski. Gronkowski and Gronkowski, mm. second round pick out of Arizona, has turned into a beast. I've never seen a tight end like Gronk. Gronk, to me, revolutionized that position. Mm. Has a game to remember for the rest of his life tonight. Three touchdowns. <laughs> How many? In his second year, Gronk became the most dominant oh, weapon in the league. I once you see him in person, to yes. your point, you go, yeah. holy crap, not only is he one of the biggest guys on the field, mm -hmm. he's sneaky fast, he's sneaky quick, and right. he's extremely powerful. Yeah. Well, Gronkowski, we've talked about him this year. He has become or the, such the receiving threat I mean, you can, down the but field. You see, like, the Five, many six, seven teams. catches yeah. almost every game. Touchdown to England. He can block. And he can make some brilliant catches and has really been the difference in this the game. They cannot like he's fearless. Match up he was raised Ron like Gronkowski. that, though. Right or wrong. Solder again, eligible like receiver that. 32. At his size and with his speed, every hit is like a car accident. He fell on his neck. I believe it! As a father, it just drives you crazy knowing that and it could be his last play. Mm. Oh, this one! Oh, this one gives me chills when I see it. Oh, that's what, I'm trying to... that's what makes this kid great. He did that all on his own. He's all right after that one. He's okay. He kept. I thought it was like huge injury. Linebackers could not run with him. Safeties could not tackle cycle. him. The cornerbacks he landed were like flies on, on a windshield. Uh. Rob Gronkowski is now. Two touchdown receptions away from setting a single season record for tight ends. The NFL record is 13. That's shared by the wow. 49ers, Vernon Davis, and also Antonio Gates. We have a full-fledged barbarian playing tight end. Well said. For the New England Patriots. Well said. And the guy was an absolute monster. He's making them look like... Oh, hell no. What just happened? Oh, my God. And then Kerrigan, the rookie, a big, strong guy. And I mean this a really different. strong guy. Just gets shed by Gronkowski. I'm an American football noob. I can tell this is different. He's still on his feet. Reaching an all-time tight end like record, like 17 touchdowns in a single season. Broncos and I'm sorry, I'd be talking too much. What did he say? How many? Oh, my God, he's he's Ten, five, touchdown. Catching an all-time tight end record, 17 touchdowns in a single season. Broncos and Patriots. What's like and average? The round coming up here on CBS. The one seed against the four seed. Under the bright lights of playoff football. Many a budding superstar had failed to blossom. Hmm. Not Gronk. Nope. And the official agrees. Touchdown, New England. Look at the big tight end laying out for that one. His domination continued in the playoffs. By New England standards, the Patriots had been experiencing like a... something of a playoff a winning glove. drought. It had been four years since they last won a playoff game. Dang. He's got a touchdown and an NFL record in the postseason for the quarterback. Gronkowski for the third time tonight. Tying the playoff <laughs> record like, for Sheesh. touchdowns in a game. They shift, they put him in motion. You don't know where they're going to line up. In the 
the AFC title game, Gronk was hobbled by injury. Oh man, and you can see Rob Gronkowski, that oh left ankle. It's just been oh. really indestructible this season, Gronkowski. He would get ankle surgery a week after the season ended. A rare personality, Gronk was immediately embraced by the nation. Gronk, the perfect nickname. He's a lot of things now. Lovable, meathead, party animal, TV host, a lot of things. Gronk loves life and life loves Gronk. He's always bouncing around, having fun. Yo soy fiesta. Yo soy fiesta. <laughs> Is it fair to say they expressed their displeasure that you were photographed with a porn star? Actress. <laughs> Actress, I'm sorry. Whatever his public persona is uh, on the dance floor, at a party, or whatever, uh, in the building, there's no better. All this and still performing at top level? Those kind of things. Teammate. Players, you guys. He works extremely hard. You haven't even stepped in the ring yet with in this. In all monster. fields. So you're, why are you on the Gronk cruise? To sleep with Gronk. Uh, called a Gronking to remember by Lacey Noonan. It might be tough because there's like way hotter chicks than me, but I'm hoping I'm a little bit more freaky than them. You know, he's that. That. That he had a plan. Talk to her. Or he worked his plan. Some people me these days, they're like, I'm a 10. And we know that you're not a 10. Like, I, I love when you like self-aware. Mainly because I think what Gronk is doing like, is rolling out of the rack every so single morning. He's sensitive these days. just being like, himself. Say everyone are beautiful. And people like, no, love him for it. Not everyone is beautiful. It's just Gronk life. It's returns okay. from injury. Picking right up where he left things, off the like, previous season. You're not going to believe how big he is. He's going to get mad at me for that. I know. Bill. He's faster in person than he shares right. on Bill. Let's focus. Do we want to put a linebacker on him? Damn, he's a little too athletic for a linebacker. Gronkowski's first catch. Yeah, he's got to use all the skills. He's got to come to work. Now, do we want to put our best cover guy on him? Man, these are best. I just want to say one guy. thing. To me. All the thing that I ranted about. It's like people these days, they playing and say there's no winners or losers. We don't count the score. Like, no, we have to count He's the score. He's going to be overpowered. part of the him. game. Like, they're ruining He's the one younger of the generation. He's one of the greatest matches in the like history that. of football. That's just my opinion. I don't know how I feel. How would you describe what Gronk brought to that offense over the years? I think Rob Gronkowski's been a little busy these last couple of years. The, one of the rarest pieces in, in, in the NFL. Seeking out contact and delivering the punishment. Gronk was incredibly coachable. Mm. Works hard. Interesting. Cares hard. Usually when you got wild, way, you it's want it done. That. He absolutely is a coach's dream. Oh. I would not guess that. Yes, touchdown, That's New England. Because usually, like your wildness getting the way of your talent. We've seen this before we played. Yeah, he's big. He's not wrong. I guess can't be that fast. Wrong. The value of a good tight end. It's completely underrated. Markowski takes two Rams to bring him down near the 10. The value of an outstanding tight end is incredible because it changes everything that you do coverage-wise. Touchdown, New England, and it's Gronkowski. What? Gronkowski, five catches, 106 yards. He's having fun with it. When you see There's someone like that, you're going to enjoy it 10 times more. In a week 11 a game against the Colts, Gronk broke his forearm while blocking on an extra point attempt. Gronkowski's going in. But most notably, tight end Rob Gronkowski, who fractured his forearm blocking on an extra point last Sunday, is out. He would miss five weeks before returning for the playoffs. Mm. He re-injured the forearm in the first playoff game of the year. So it haven't been like that. He lands, on, it. It. He lands on the previously injured forearm. The injury required three additional surgeries during the offseason. Oh. Simultaneously, he would undergo surgery for a fracture in his back he'd been putting off. And I don't oh, care what any wow. doctors tell you, the more they open your body up, the better it becomes. That means that he's been playing, playing. not healthy. Now, because of the injuries, because he had a relatively short career, got him in 
inside the five to the half yard line. You're not going to be able to measure career value and say his outweighs Tony Gonzalez's, for example. It didn't take him long to reassert his dominance. Bye. Still the same style, though. Really take it Still him. At the 10 yard line. Gronk was back. Uh -huh. we see. The thing is, that's dangerous. We're gonna play in a fit. But it shows the love the Eagles for the game. But, so, I guess it's a little toxic, but. Too big for most players to solo tap. Gotta listen to your body. He runs right through three Carolina <laughs> Panthers. This is insane. No way. Stop it. And Gronk powers to the goal line. And a touch an illegal touchdown. <laughs> this is just big boy football here. <laughs> I might be covering it, but it's a touchdown. wrong. You can never enjoy a game when your sons are playing in that. First off, because of injuries, and I just pray the night before that um, no one ever gets hurt. Mm. He watches their games with dread. came in very low and Gronkowski is hurt. Confirming our worst fears about tight end Rob Gronkowski. Gronk suffered a concussion, a torn oh. ACL, and torn MCL on the same play. Well, I think we need to start talking about how much longer he's going to play. I mean, the guy's had four surgeries on his forearm. He's already now had two back surgeries. Now he has a torn ACL and there's MCL damage as well. 